What's up, YouTube family? Gerald Greenley here with Cleaning Green Lawn Service in beautiful South Georgia. Hey, hope y'all having a great day. Uh, shoot, man, it is 11 o'clock. I have been on the go since 7.30 this morning. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm doing, then I'll tell you what I've been doing. There you go. All right, so, not that y'all care, but this is like reality TV, a reality for me. Left at 7.30 this morning, headed to the doctor's office, got my blood work done, left there, went to, uh, went to the uh, tractor place, is that right? Yeah, went to the tractor place, I had lost my, uh, the bar that adjusts the top of your implements on the back, I don't know what it's called, it's not the draw bar that goes on the bottom, but the one that you turn and screws in and out, I'm not a tractor guy, so... Anyway, I'd lost a piece of that. I went and got it replaced and got a couple of pins. Uh, went by the bank, deposited some checks, went and ordered some new tires for the Titan. And uh, so, yeah, I've been busy. So I came back and show y'all what I did here. This is a subsoiler. Uh, and you can see it's going. Uh, let me come down here and show you because that tractor is loud. Uh, my son-in-law and them, they have a ditch witch, um, and I asked him about borrowing it, but the deal is, this thing is fast, man, look at that. See how easy that comes out? Uh, so, I don't know. Of course, it tears up all these roots, but I'm thinking about, I mean, honestly, if I got this thing a foot in the ground, that schedule 40 this is gonna be fine um, now my line isn't exactly straight <laughs> but you know that PVC it'll give and take a little bit so it'll be fine all right the guy to help me frame my whole house up and actually helped me a bunch on it a ton of help uh, he just pulled up I talked to him man that's why I cut it off abruptly <laughs> but anyway Here's this thing, man. Um, so, the only bad thing about this is dirt falls back in the hole, you know? I wish I could get a metal piece onto this that was wider, like a plow. Um, but that little narrow shovel I got, man, I can go down through there and scoop that stuff out quick. Y'all see how easy, see how, how easy this stuff comes out. So, I might just, oh, drop my headphones. I might just do this. Um, because I mean, honestly, it'd be faster probably than the ditch witch. Now, the ditch witch, because it's got that little auger on it, would probably do a better job of getting stuff out the hole. But I already got this here, I ain't got to be in a rush, I can do it, you know. And I'm not, I just want to try this, I'm not fixing to do it right now because they're gonna drink, bring them power trucks in here and uh, be driving all over it, and I don't really want them. To, to do that i mean eventually the water line is going to get it's going to get driven on by my trucks and trailers but once it gets packed down and in place uh those big trucks i'm afraid if they run one of the tires over it they might slip one of the joints loose in the pvc now they're not going to be drilling out here but they'd be on it so i think uh i just kind of want to put that on there and see how i do so i think that's what i'm gonna go with uh and just probably do it that way uh, I mean, I ran this in this probably this probably five minutes a pass down and a pass back. So that's a third of what I got to do. I got to come from over there, and I was going to run one all the way down to the other end, but I'm not even sure I'm going to do that. Now I may just run it right here to the corner. I mean, it ain't gonna hurt to have a water hose. So yeah. Anyway. That's what we got going on, man. Busy day. Uh, the guy may call me. He said the tires may come in 1.30, 2 o'clock today. If they did, he would call me and go ahead and put them on my truck today. If not, I told him I'd just bring it up there next week. And it really depends on what I get into. I said, you can call me. I said, but now if I get busy doing something, I may wait till next week. So, you know, he said, okay, whatever. So, anyway, that's the deal. So, get back out here and get to work on something.
man, that's enough work for today. You know what I'm saying? The heck with it. Let's quit. Um, I got the trenches. Uh, I just did a run on them. I mean, I don't have a pipe yet. Like I said, I'm not going to put the pipe down on my property until uh, until the power company's done. Because actually, I think I'm on. I may run me a power cable. Clean that off. I may run me a power cable in there with that. Um, run it back up here by the goat pen just so I got some power in that area. Um, I still got to figure out all the electrical, but I could go ahead and drop a, I could go ahead and drop one in the ground for now and it'd be there uh, and just put it in the same trench. Y'all don't be coming at me with code and all that stuff. Ain't nobody worried about that. Something happens to break your trips, that's it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, I can't be showing y'all what I'm gonna do because some of you, some of you got uh, uh, backgrounds in electrical, you know, and plumbing and all that kind of stuff. You'll be uh, be all on me about it. But uh, anyway, um, I'm having to drive over this trench probably hear some of those roots dragging on the bottom of the truck i know that probably ain't good but i'm actually going down here to hook up my boat um i have a fishing tournament next weekend so i need to get my boat ready i'm having some trouble with it i mean it runs but it i can't figure out what's going on I may mess with that some. I thought I had water in the fuel, but that wasn't a problem. Or at least I run it for about 20 minutes with sea foam in it, and it never did get any better. Uh, it could be the trim, the trim switch is out of whack, and it thinks it's trimmed up too much, so it's putting it on the rev limiter. Um, and I don't really know what else it could be, but I'm gonna take it. It's okay. It'll run. It'll run to about four thousand RPMs. It's when you try to get above that. So I think I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go run it again this week. I'm probably not gonna run it today, but I need to take it up to the house. I got some work I need to do on it. Uh, a couple of little things I need to tidy up, and uh, I'm just gonna take it up there where I got my tools at in the other little shop. That camera's a ticket, boy. It's gonna roll back though. That didn't roll much. But anyway, I'm gonna take it up there. I got a fender that's loose on it. I need to fix that. I hadn't decided if I'm gonna go ahead and switch out and put my uh, hummingbird on it. It's got Lowrance on it right now. That's what it had on it. My neighbor had when I bought it from him. I really don't like the Lowrance. I like the hummingbird. He looks a lot better. Same size, seven. But uh, anyway, and I got all my stuff, all my fishing stuff is in that building up there. So I got to go in there like all my life vest and all my tackle and worms and line and different lures and scales and weight bag, weigh-in bag, all of that stuff. So I'm going to pit around with this for a little while. All right. It's almost 5 o'clock in the evening. It's got back cold out here, man. I better turn this off. almost forgot about that. Y'all check it out. There we go, man. Get that bad boy set up. That's the map. Oh no, that's not the map. What am I doing? I'll show. Oh, there's the map. Y'all see my little fishing spots, man. Look at all them spots up there. That's from a little lake by my house. Anyway, um, I was trying to figure out when that light was on back there. I had the key on. <laughs> anyway, I'm done. I gotta go down here. Uh, I'm gonna go get a cord from the shop and plug this boat in, plug these batteries in. I try to keep them on charge. It's better for them. Um, anyway, I'm gonna plug that up. I got the obviously got the fish finder on the hummingbird. Um, I got a few more things that I gotta do to it. 
still got to get it loaded up and all that, but I'm going to get all my wiring done, everything tied up, all that kind of stuff like I need it. And uh, <clears throat> then leave next Friday to go fish Saturday morning. Hopefully. Lord willing. So that is the plan. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut the video out here. Appreciate you taking the time to watch. My prayer for you is always the same, that the Lord might richly bless you and that you might sell of your blessings as from him. Hope you have a great day.